Now, in this part, we're gonna go over the earthwork setup and file structure for the TD520. If you exported your calibration from the data collector, you will already have most of the folders on and the structure on your USB stick already. But for the purpose of this, we're gonna start from the beginning. We're gonna say that we do have our calibration file exported and we have our design file. They're gonna be loose on our USB stick here where we got them. On Earthworks, your design files can be either a VCL or a DSZ, but they only use one file unlike the other system. Our calibration file is a .cal, and that is the only file for the calibration that will work with Earthworks. So starting out, we need to know where our files are. We know they're on the root of our USB. Yours might be somewhere else. You'll need to know where they are. The first step we're gonna do is create a new folder. This folder is gonna be called Project Library with no space. Once you've created your project library folder, you can open that up, go into there, create a new folder inside of there, and that will be called the projects. Once you've created your projects folder, you'll go inside of there, make another new folder, and this is where we're gonna name it whatever we want the project name to show up as in the machine. For us, we're gonna have our project be called Training Site. And again, whatever, you can name this whatever you want. This is the one folder that you can name whatever you want. Every other folder needs to be exactly as shown. Now we go inside of our training site folder and we're gonna make another new folder that will be called office data. Again, all one word, just like project library, no spaces. Inside of our office data folder, we're gonna make one more new folder and we're gonna call that designs. Once we have that, we now have our folder structure in place. We'll go back to the root of our USB. We're gonna take our calibration file, our .cal first, copy that, go into project library, go to projects, training site, office data, and you're gonna paste it loose in this office data folder. Now we go back to the root of our USB again, and we need to get our design file. It's EW training. VCL. Copy that back into project library, projects, training site, office data. Now we go in our designs folder and this is where we can place our VCL. Any new revisions or different models, designs that you get, whether they're VCL or DSZ, all can go loose inside of this designs folder if you get future files. Now we have everything in place where we need it and we're gonna be ready to head out to the machine. Now we're gonna load our files on the Earthworks system. Here we have a TD520 with Earthworks open. It doesn't matter what screen as long as we're logged in. We're gonna put our USB stick in the screen. New window's gonna pop up for our file transfer. We're looking to import our files to the machine from our USB stick. That's how we're gonna get our design on. We hit the next button in the bottom right. Now when this new window pops up, this is very important. You are only gonna see on the left side, you should see your internal storage and then your USB stick. You're gonna tap on the USB on the left, mine is named Gateway, and you're only going to tap on that. Don't pick any of the files on the right side of the screen and you're just gonna hit select in the bottom right. Now it's showing projects. It scanned the folders and the correct file structure and it sees our projects. If we hit this drop down, it'll show us the projects. I only have our training site. If you have multiple projects on your USB, it will show them all here. And then you can check just the project you want. So you're not getting a bunch of other jobs on there that you don't need. Once you check that project, you're gonna hit import in the bottom right. It's gonna bring it in. Once it's done, it'll tell you file import successful. You'll hit okay. You can pull your USB stick out. And now if we go to our job setup, we can see our different projects here, hit our drop down, and here's our training site. 
Now we've selected our training site. We need to make sure our mode is in design. You do have other options, but we want to be in design because we're going to use our office design. We're going to skip over work order. We're not using that right now. But now you see design is none selected. We need to hit that drop down, and there's our EW training, and that's our .vcl. Once that's in, it'll ask you what surface. If you have a surface, you'll select your surface. This one's a 3D line, and then you'll hit apply. Now we have our design on the machine and we're good to go.